everybody, welcome back to my channel and to another studio vlog. It is Monday, um, I've been to get my nails done this morning, so we are nice and purple. Ready to film some plum with me as this week, definitely gonna do it. Um, I've been cutting this morning, <laughs> I'm a little bit behind. Last week's releases, I didn't finish cutting them, so I really need to get that done today. Um, I want to prep next week's releases and this week's releases this week, which <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that, but um, the machine that I purchased, I told you about at the very end of last uh, last week's vlog, is coming on Monday, so I I just don't know if I'm going to be able to have a normal week next week. Also the fact that we've got Palantines, I, next week is not going to be normal, I, I already know it. I doubt I'll get them fully prepped, but at least designed. This week's releases I've designed one kit and um, I've got another one that I know, oh no I've designed two! I've designed two! Okay, we're in, we're in a better position than I thought. So this week's releases have been designed, just need to make the cut files, print them and cut them. I say that like it's an easy job, that's like two days of work. <laughs> Depends how I got on cutting, hopefully if I have a very productive cutting day today I might be able to do them tomorrow. So I need to work on non-mystery orders as well this week. I've packed loads of the international ones, still can't send them, but what I'm gonna do is just send them by like a tracked method instead of just international standard because Royal Mail has been rolling out its other services, they're now operational but the one I use isn't so I'm gonna just have to pay the difference I think it will cost me like probably between like four and five pounds per item extra to send them tracked but like it's just getting a bit ridiculous now. I can't hang on to these orders for any longer. I did process postage on some of them and then realised that I did it wrong and I'm not even allowed to send these. You can only send letters without a customs declaration and I accidentally did ones with a customs declaration and I can't legally send them without a customs declaration because it's goods. So I'm gonna do that. I can't send tracked until, I think it was 7 p.m. tonight, but obviously I can't send them at 7 p.m. tonight because the cut off for uh, dropping off mail is like 6pm so if I process them tonight I can drop them off first thing tomorrow and at least they'll be moving I don't think they're gonna move very far because of like the backlog that they must have of mail anyway but that's another problem with waiting for standard to like come back anyway is everyone who is a business or just everyone in general that's trying to post internationally will be trying to post as soon as it reopens so I feel like I don't know what the right thing to do is um, but there are really no alternative services that I can even use that won't cost me like an arm and a leg. This is already going to cost me a little bit more, but it won't be like trying to use a courier or something. It's frustrating that there's no like cheap service to send like just a letter because sending parcels, I don't think it's that expensive abroad. Like it's actually comparable to Royal Mail, but there is no comparable letter service that I've found. So that is just what I've decided to do. I'll do that tonight and drop them off tomorrow, like I said. So let's get on with cutting. So I was actually able to uh, do the tracked postage today. So we're gonna go and drop those off. I've just done the labels, uh, 45 orders. I'm sending out tracked <laughs> instead of standard. So <laughs> let's see how much it will cost. I think it is between like, eight and ten pounds an order so I'm anticipating like 450 okay three six seven so better than I thought <laughs> but not good <laughs> the important thing is that they're tracked and because the mail is going to be crazy at the minute I think this is the right decision I don't sound very confident I am confident <laughs> vlogging was a fail yesterday it's now Wednesday and yesterday I got up like really early got into the office for the time I wanted to and had to do loads of admin which took me longer than I expected and then I just got for the rest of the day so I didn't really have much to show you um, I had to do some tax stuff which is always fun but we have new tax stuff to do and it's confusing and we're like setting things up so I'm like liaising with the accountant, I'm confused, <laughs> I'm asking him questions and 
it needs to be set up for like next week and everything's just chaos <laughs> so there's that um what else am i doing had to do a newsletter so that was fine emails um customers who have queries with international shipping i mean rightly so because who knows what's going on everyone has been really nice about it though so thank you so much um but yeah it's just a bad situation with shipping it's hard to like even know how long to ask customers to wait because normally for um like the rest of the world not europe it's 25 working days europe is 20 working days but when we don't have actual working days because like the post is stalled i don't know how to count these working days so it's very confusing i have had a few customers actually using like mail forwarding services in the uk one that keeps popping up is called aramax and it's like Stackery on my mailbox, but the way we would use that for mail in the US, it works for the UK. And I do have an order to resend to a customer's Aramex mailbox thing instead of their like address in their own country, so hopefully that will work. But yeah, as an update for international shipping, it's still just tracked only. Today I'm doing more cutting, it's pretty much cutting like the whole week. Um, starting this week's new releases, hopefully today. Just edited the vlog, that's uploading now. We went to Sainsbury's for lunch because we used to go all the time to like a supermarket cafe for lunch and we just haven't been for ages. Like we moved away from our favourite one and we just never really like re-established a new favourite one. So that was nice to go and do that. But yesterday, <laughs> this was such a fail. I do have like a small clip from yesterday that I'll uh, insert shortly, but I decided to wash our bedding and I always wash our bedding early in the morning on the day that I'm changing the bedding and I know that in my, I have a washer dryer, I know that it takes one wash cycle and two dry cycles to dry my bedding, like I, that is how it always has been and I did that yesterday, started at like 10am so like a decent time and it just wasn't dry <laughs> by like 10. So I did a third dry cycle for the duvet cover and decided to just put the like sheet and the pillowcases near the dehumidifier upstairs. In hindsight, I should have just done that in the first place because the dehumidifier dries things really quickly, but I didn't think about that. So I tried my final dry cycle at like quarter past 12. We checked it and we were like, this is not dry. There's no way it's going to be dry. And we only have one set of bedding because in my, oh my God, I'm going to be a minimalist phase that I went through like two months ago, I decided that we only needed one sheet of bedding <laughs> when we changed bed sizes. So we went from a double to a king. So we got rid of all our double stuff and we just have one set of bedding for the king, which has been working out fine for me until yesterday. Um, so I'm just going to roll those clips. It's Is it shut? Yeah. Monday 7am, Saturday 10 p.m. Oh, it used to be 24 hour though. Yeah. I looked online, it said 24 hours. <laughs> Where are we gonna go? Um, I don't know, I'm 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> Tesco's. Is there a Tesco nearby? To be fair, like the car park is. Yeah, it's dead. It's normally a bit busier than this. <laughs> so we think Tom read the sign wrong, so we're now attempting entry <laughs> into the store because we saw someone else managed to go in. Okay, <laughs> I think we're in. It's so weirdly dead in here. Um, but anyway, we're in here for bedding because I washed ours and it isn't dry and it's now like 1 a.m. So we've come to buy some. So I misunderstood the sign because it says Monday 7 a.m. until Saturday 10 p.m. And I read that as Monday to Saturday 7 a.m. till 10 p.m. Um, obviously this means continuously open until Saturday 10 p.m. So yeah, I'm a mug basically. We have secured the goods. So yeah, we did end up getting our bedding, but we didn't get to bed until like 2 a.m. And uh, it was just, I don't know. Learn from my mistakes, have more than one set of bedding. Like, I don't know like why I thought this would work, <laughs> especially in the winter, in the summer maybe. So we also had to wash that today because, I mean, the fact that we couldn't wash it in the first place like made me feel a bit weird, but I did not want to sleep on like nothing. I don't know. I did tell my friend and she was like, I would have just gone to sleep instead of going to the shop and I was like this honestly felt like the best option at that time and I don't know if it, I don't know who knows but we've done it now so <laughs> I'm gonna go and cut stickers um I don't think I have anything else to say my eye is hurting a little bit so I've got my glasses on um I do not like them they feel really smudged I've cleaned them like 50 times and my eyelashes rub on them 
and they get dirty straight away. So that's annoying, but I'm gonna go and cut now and you're pretty much up to date. So I've pretty much been cutting all day and I've cut, um, these are the two new collections and this stack I think is, yeah this is full kits. Add-ons here, also some of the add-ons are from last week. These are new releases that I've just taken photos of, um, but yeah I just have sheets everywhere that I need to put away now. Good afternoon. I know you said good morning. It is Friday, new releases have gone live. Um, been cutting, did loads of cutting yesterday. I think I showed you. Been cutting premium mat today. I'm about to start orders, so I'm going to post those tomorrow. Um, as of right now, we still can't post standard international, um, but everything's going trapped at the minute, so it's okay. Um, well, it's not ideal, but it's, it's okay enough. Um, when I came down into the office this morning, my curtain rail, I have um, like big French doors or that's the only window in my office is these big French doors that would cover literally like the whole wall and the curtain rail had just fallen <laughs> and was no longer attached to the wall so I had to run and grab like a stool that I could stand on to kind of hold it up and like balance it and it was balancing okay and then Ari ran by <laughs> and it no longer was balancing so I've had to take all my curtains down which means I currently don't have curtains in the office I don't know what I'm gonna do um, I think I'm gonna try and get just something lightweight that I can just stick up with like a pole for now so that I have some kind of privacy like I don't need like I don't really need that much in the office because I'm just at work but I just want something to draw and also um, I thought there was something in the garden I think it and oh no, I don't think it's anything I often think I see things in the garden, so I probably want curtains for that reason. Um, but I just want something so that I can draw the curtains when the sun is like blaring in, because it does affect how the silhouettes register. They do fine in natural light, but if there's any kind of like direct sunlight, they don't register. And obviously my silhouettes are right next to the window because that's just where they ended up fitting. Um, so I have to sort that out, which is a bit annoying. Sorry if you can hear the rabbits like snoring. They make this noise, I think it's Tallulah because she has issues with her face um, being very like scrunched up because she's a Netherland dwarf but she had her front teeth out a few, probably like 18 months ago now um, and she just makes this noise <laughs> but it's fine. Um, anyway, I'm gonna do orders in a minute. I've just been making another list of stuff that I have to do for Palantines. We're getting there. Um, I am hoping to prep next week's releases over the weekend so I'm gonna have quite a busy weekend I don't know when to end the vlog <laughs> I think I might end the vlog today so that I can try and get it edited ASAP um, we're also waiting for someone to come and change the tires on the car um, I use tires on the drive which is a Halfords product well like a sub brand and they will come and change your tires on your drive for you which is so convenient because I don't want to have to take it anywhere so I'm waiting for those my time slot is three till seven so they should be coming in the next well between the next 20 minutes and the next like four hours or whatever it is. I can't go anywhere but that will be sorted. I just needed it doing before I do the drive to Palantines because it's only about an hour but 
just not gonna risk it with the shop and the stock and my friend. <laughs> so I'm getting the tires changed now. Tom's made up my oops bags. He's done jumbo ones for the Valentine's Day event. I don't think I'm doing like a big sale. I'll do like a small sale and um, we'll do the Valentine's Day oops bags. I've called them extra large oops bags, but they're just 20 sheet oops bags. And most of them have like full kits in them because we've got more sheets to play with. So we can give you like a whole kit in some of them, most of them. I think, I think they all have at least one kit. Um, but I'm excited about those. He also made me some 10 sheet ones I can take to the event. So I've got doodle ones to make up and script ones and premium ones. Um, but it's easier for me to do those because there's not as many sheets. I did get a ticket to see Sabrina Carpenter this morning, which I'm so excited about. I love her so much. She's like my new favourite artist at the minute. I'm very excited. I'm going to see her in Birmingham. But I think that is you all caught up. So I'm going to do some orders and I'll show you that.